Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna compare these premium Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems to each other. We have the TP-Link Deco BE85, the Eero Max 7, and the Netgear Orbi 970 series. We're gonna go over their specs, ports. I have all those speed tests, range tests, both in wired and wireless backhaul, using the following devices. And at the end, we'll go over which one is worth getting and why. But right off the bat, all three of these are very, very good. And it's honestly a very tough decision. Really, I think price is going to be the contributing factor because all three of these are fantastic. There are better aspects in each single one than the other. So a tough decision. Let's get started. Starting with the Deco, we have two identical units. So if you get a three pack, it'll be identical. So the one you hook up to your modem becomes the router. The other one automatically becomes the access point. So we'll focus on one of them. So this is a tri-band Wi-Fi 7 system. And we have a WPS button. We have four ethernet ports, two of which are 10 gigabit ports. The other two are 2.5 gigabit ports. And these are auto sensing ports, which means that no matter which one you connect your modem to, it will automatically detect it. Now. In my case, I have five gigs up and down internet speed, so I wanna use one of the 10 gig ports and come out from the other 10 gig ports. If I don't, if I use the 2.5 gigabit ports, I'm actually gonna cap my speeds. And then we have an SFP plus port. So this is a fiber optic port. This may or may not be important for you, but if you use this, this is a 10 gig port. However, you can't use this. So you can use either this or this port. So really you have four usable ports. And then we have a USB 3.0 so you can share your hard drive if you want to, don't expect crazy fast speeds. And it is not something I tested. And on top of that, we have the power plug. And on the bottom, we have a factory reset. So it's a pin, you hold it, and then it's good to go. It's a matte white finish with a seven right here. So overall, it's a pretty nice design. Next, we move to the Eero Max 7, which is very similar to identical, the one hook hooked up to your modem is the router and I put my own main label on this it doesn't come like this so it, this is just the one that I set up uh, as the main one so in case if I hook it up later I'll know to hook up this one as the main one because that's how it's configured okay and then very similar to the Deco, it's a tri-band system with four auto sensing ports, two of which are 10 gig ports, the other two are 2.5 gigabit ports. We have a factory reset and we have a USB-C for power. This is not for sharing your hard drive, this is a power and it is recommended to use the power that comes with the Eero. And overall it's a really nice design. We have a glossy white and we have a matte white background. So I actually really like this design. So one unique thing about the Eero is it has Zigbee and Thread support. So some smart home devices require that. I, Zigbee I think is more common. So if you have that, if you get the Eero, you can actually use it as your hub. So you can replace your existing hub. Now the Orbi is a bit unique because we have a dedicated router and a dedicated satellite. So we'll start with the router first, and this is what you need to hook up to your modem. And right off the bat, this thing is also a quad band system. So you have an additional band compared to the other two. So you have an additional five gigahertz frequency that either Wi-Fi devices can connect to, or it can be used to increase your wireless backhaul speeds. So. Aside from that, we have a sync button, a factory reset. We have six ethernet ports that are dedicated. So if I'm hooking up to the internet, I well, both of these are 10 gig ports and the other four are up to 2.5 gigabit ports. So if I'm hooking up my internet, I actually have to use this port. And then coming out, I can actually use any one of these. However, in my case, because my internet speeds are five gigs up and down, I wanna use this port to come out to go to the satellite. And we have a power port right here. And yeah, so this is what it looks like, the largest and most expensive of the mesh systems out right now. And yeah, very sim identical size to the satellite. So we'll just go over the satellite real quick. Same sync button, same reset. We have two 2.5 gigabit ports and we have another 10 gig ethernet port here. So it can bring in a full 10 gig power plug and pretty much identical in size. Now, before we get into the numbers, during testing, Deco, flawless, no issues. Eero, setup, flawless, running, flawless, no drops, flawless. However, there was one issue in the fact that, again, my internet speeds are five gigs up and down, and when I do a speed test with speedtest.net, not inside the Eero app, but with speedtest.net, on my computer that's hooked up via ethernet to this thing, I couldn't get, quite get to those speeds. So I got to 4.7 gigabits per second down, which is pretty close, but the upload was averaging around 3.6 gigabits per second upload. So not quite as I was expecting it to be much better. So I think a firmware update 
will fix that, but I, hopefully that gets fixed. But I just need to mention that I did experience that uh, again. In the Eero app, initially when I got it, it did get to those five gig speeds. Then after that, I couldn't get quite get there. But I, I like the independent speed test.net um, as a better test. With these two, I had no issues with that. Now with the Orbi, no issues during setup, no issues getting to those full speeds. But the issue I had with this was there were drops in connections. And so I, I tried some restarts. I tried a few things, but then I did some research. And then I noticed that the MTU was set to f above 1500. It was like 1508 or something. And I changed that to 1500, which is what it should have been. Uh, and then there was another flag that said like enable 20 to 40 megahertz coexistence. So some people recommended disabling that. So I disabled that. So I ran it a little bit longer after that and it wasn't dropping, but I didn't run it for like another full month to see. So I don't know if it still drops or not, but just wanted to just throw that out there. So no issues, um, issue and potential issue with this. Okay. Now let's get into the internet speed test. Now, no matter how fast your router is, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speeds. For me, that would be, again, five gigs up and down, and all three of these support that, no issues, because they have up to 10 gig ports, other than, again, the issue I mentioned with the Eero not quite getting there. But the Wi-Fi devices are always a different story, so looking at the results, it looks like in the Wi-Fi 7 test, Eero took first place for the download, and for the upload, the Deco took first place. So, but generally speaking, the download on the Deco was kind of terrible compared to the download on the Eero, and the Orbi was okay um, in between both, uh, as you guys can see. And then for the Wi-Fi 6 e devices, Orbi took the cake in both cases. So now, to find out the true performance of these routers, mesh systems, I need to do a local speed test server. So I make my computer to the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer. And in the case of wired and wireless backhaul, I go from Wi-Fi device to the secondary one, which jumps to the primary one, which then goes to the server. And that way I isolate that. So I'm not using my ISP, my internet service provider, nor the public speed test server. And this usually results in better speeds. And I use open speed test server, which is fantastic. And I've done a separate video on this on how to set it up and everything. So links below if you guys are interested. So looking at these numbers, there is indefinite improvement in speeds. And again, Eero is taking the cake at 3882 for the Wi-Fi 7 download speeds. And the Deco itself is taking the cake for the upload speeds at 3121 for Wi-Fi 7 devices. So it's really kind of a mix and match because, again, Wi-Fi 6C upload Deco won that, and the Wi-Fi 6E download, Orbi won that. So it's kind of a mix and match. Next, we get into wired backhaul results. Very similar speeds on all three to their original single router configurations. So pretty much identical results, which is what you would expect because all of these have another 10 gig port to go out of. And wireless backhaul, this is kind of important but again all three did very well with orbi taking first place for a wi-fi 7 device and wi-fi 6c device went to the deco uh, in terms of speeds now all three again are really really fast so now something worth mentioning for wireless backhaul all three of these i tested independently and I made separate videos, so I'll link those videos down below if you guys are interested. But basically, I hooked up my Mac Mini, which has a 10 gig port, to all three of these on a wireless backhaul node. And I showed you guys how fast it is when you hook up via Ethernet, even to a wireless backhaul node. And in that case, Deco actually took first place with, I mean, pretty much tying with the Orbi in terms of download speeds. They both got to full 5 gigs, which was absurd. Uh, but the upload speeds was faster on the Deco versus the Orbi. And Eero was kind of just trailing behind the other two. So it was a lot slower in wireless backhaul from that specific experiment. Again, a link below if you guys are interested. Next, we get into range tests, which will vary vastly by location. If you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, if you're in a building with a lot of other routers around, all of this stuff can negatively impact your range. So essentially more obstructions, less range. Now, all three of these are tested in the same exact environments. And at 20 feet away inside my place, all three are doing very well with the Eero Max 7 taking the cake for the Wi-Fi 7 download speeds. And really it's just a mixture where the Orbi did the best upload for Wi-Fi 7 and the Wi-Fi 6E upload went to the Deco and the Wi-Fi 6E download went to the Orbi. So it's really a mix and match. 
of the systems. And then at 50 feet, uh, again, Eros taking first place for the Wi-Fi 7 download speeds. And the other two are actually a lot slower when it comes to Wi-Fi 7 download speeds for, for upload speeds. Deco took the cake there. And Wi-Fi 6E, Deco took the Wi-Fi 6E download speed test where the Eero took the upload test for Wi-Fi 6E. And at 100 feet, the Deco actually took first place for upload where the Orbi took first place for download. And Deco took first place for 6C download and Orbi took first place for 6C upload. So really it's a mix and match. And if I had to really categorize everything, Deco overall in most cases won in most cases with the upload. And really overall the fastest possible speeds for Wi-Fi went to the Eero. But all, all three were really good. Now for setup and configuration, use their respective apps. So we have the Deco app, the Eero app, and the Orbi app. They're all available on iOS and on Android. And there are a few slight differences just worth mentioning. The Eero has this cool feature that if you have certain Echo devices like the Echo Dot 5th generation, with an Eero, you can actually add that as a Wi-Fi extender. Now don't expect crazy fast speeds from that. That's really like, if it can't reach a certain room and you have like one security camera there and it just needs a little bit of bandwidth, it's fine for that. But if you're gaming or you know want something fast, don't expect much from the Echo Dot, but it does offer that built in, which is kind of nice. Uh, and again, I mentioned earlier, has Zigbee and Thread support, but in terms of options, it is pretty limited. So you can't separate out the bands, for instance. And with the Eero, I mean, you could set you could set up DHCP. You could run it in bridge mode if you want to. You could set up port forwarding. So you have a few options, and and really they just kind of give you the main options. But they're really the the goal with Eero, from what I understand, is really to just kind of simplify it. Oh, and I should mention with the Eero, if you want parental controls, well, you need to get a separate subscription. Now, you get extra goodies with that, but you can't even get basic parental controls. In fact, if you want parental controls, I would go with the Deco because um, for their basic features, they actually offer quite a bit of basic, a lot of parental controls. Now, the Deco itself also has an additional subscription to get even more features, but even their basic set is actually... Um, much more, uh, much more advanced compared to the Eros and the Orbi. Orbi also, Orbi has super, super basic parental controls, basically pause and not pause. And Orbi also offers a subscription for parental controls if you want more advanced features. Um, so really from a parental controls perspective, Deco is the clear winner. It's not even close with the other two, uh, unless you're willing to pay for a subscription. So just keep that in mind. Um, and in addition, Deco has more options than the Eero, uh, but not as much as the Orbi. So the Orbi has the most options, but to access those options with the Orbi, you do need to go to the web interface. So you can access the main stuff in the Orbi app, but the Orbi app itself is pretty limiting. So they just give you the main stuff like Wi-Fi name, guest Wi-Fi name, you could just do a speed test. You could set up around the controls in the Orbi app and do a firmware upgrade, but there's not much else there. It's it's mostly when you go to the Orbi interface, then you're like, oh, okay, I see all these options. You could, you know, set up VPN and all that other stuff. Um, tinker with it a lot more. Now to summarize, based on performance, all three won in separate categories. We have, you know, the extra Zigbee and Thread support with this one. We have the ton of options with Orbi, a lot of customizations. With the Deco, we have price per performance is on another level. So it's 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 hard to pick a single winner, but I usually judge mostly based on price per performance. And really the clear winner there is the Deco sitting at the lowest retail price and while delivering very, very solid performance. All three of these had solid performance, but for the price, I think the winner is the Deco. But again, it really just depends on your situation. If you have positive experience with Eero or Orbi, or if you just think this looks cool or it has a lot of options, you, you want to tinker with options, you know, the Orbi is the way to go. So it really just depends on your specific situation. Now with that, I'm really curious, what do you guys think? Do you have one of these? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Have you experienced positive or negative things with it? Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. And as always, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.